I recognized her because I had seen her face, but she didn't know who I was. I didn't realize that at the time, but, and I just kind of pointed at her and pointed at my kidney and went, I think I got something for you. And that something is quite literally the gift of life. We first introduced you to Ann Mills last year. She took a unique route to get a new kidney and it worked. Angela Ingram sat down with Ann and her donor. Now there's another duck. Yep, he just flew in. Now are those younger ducks and that's an older duck? They call themselves sisters, even though they just met a few days ago. Ann Mills and Robin Delnos will soon be bonded for life because of the gift of life. I didn't know what I was going to do when I saw you for the first time. I did not know. Robin is giving Ann a kidney. Yeah. Ann has polycystic kidney disease. And last year, when her health got much worse, she started her own campaign called A Kidney for Ann. And it uh, comprised of over 150 signs, homemade, took political signs, turned them inside out, and put them back on the streets because it was about me hoping to be able to see my son graduate from high school, graduate from college, see my daughter get married. At some point, workers put a bunch of Ann signs in the garbage. Obviously, it struck me pretty hard because this was my plea to continue to live and it was viewed by some people as trash. Robin is from Dayton, but was in our area for a medical appointment. She saw one of those signs, got tested, and after originally <laughs> being told she was not a match. And they said, you know what, there was an error in your initial chart, and you are a match for Anne. And so again, I didn't even know Anne, but I started crying because and my husband was like, what's wrong? I said, I'm a match yeah, for Anne. And this is only their second time Anne. meeting. <laughs> But already, they found they have a lot in common, including a passion for raising awareness about organ donation to help save lives. But I am very, very happy that I can help not only Anne, but her family, and hopefully maybe somebody out there who is thinking, you know, I thought about it and just needs a reason. I'm looking at this and going, wow, somebody cares enough to give part of themselves um, to me, to help me live. In Colerain Township, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. The surgery is scheduled for May 9th. Robin is encouraging more people to become organ donors.